Hey guys, Giscas Riggs, and today is another beautiful day. But it's a little bit hot today because it's been like 40, 42 degrees, so we are in a shed. Yes, I have a shed now. What I want to talk about is a little... Oh, it's pretty dark. Anyway, what I was saying is today we're gonna go a little bit messing around with the Bam Bam. Uh, I want to do a little modification. It doesn't have enough power, so... I need to do something about it. I had this kind of, this little trick in my pocket, this little boost pin and this little boost ring. Really, really simple, but I never done it. I had this kind, of, this thing for really long time and I never installed it. I'm gonna show you exactly where it's gonna go. We are exactly in Bam Bam Valley. This pin is gonna replace the pin is inside there. And this ring is gonna go under this um, compressor. It's not even working anymore, as you see, it's missing. I never use air conditioning, so it's uh, without belt. So I can probably manage to put this uh, ring under there. Let's see if I can do all of this today. It's really simple, it's not gonna take much time, but it's a little tricky to place this ring with the AC over here. We'll see today what we can do and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen if it's really it's gonna increase because i don't know man but i hope so because i really need that so let's buckle up and do this this stuff okay let's go So, as you can see, I took them off the four screws. It's a little bit oily, this thing. I don't know how good it is. This is the boost pin. I mean, it's the pin, the original. I need to clean my hands. I don't, I don't like work with the, with the gloves, so my hands are constantly they're gonna be always dirty when I work on the tracks. So I'm gonna just clean up a little bit, just around. Ooh, here we go. So this is the famous pin. Little bit more. Anyway, I don't care because you know what? I got a new one. This is a, one of the thing I can do. This little boost. The other thing show you I can do okay removing these two everything is one hand it's not it's not easy oh. this is the other one somebody's been playing with this already because here two springs one small inside of this one and this one the big one did I lose a spring you can play with this crown you can twist it three times of 45 degrees but also you can play as I said with this screw on top and the last one with the diesel and I should put the boost ring I don't know if I want to do all of this because yes that should be a little bit more aggressive acceleration but also if I do the full trick it's gonna use more, more diesel so I don't like the idea of using more diesel I want this car to be more fuel efficient as much as possible that's why i'm doing just this little trick we can do this now and we can do the rest later i'm gonna show you in a second anyway let's replace this one okay uh, dirty stuff so I don't want any of this bad stuff goes in here because this one is a diaphragm and this one needs to be nice and clean because diaphragm works with air, vacuum and stuff. So this one needs to be needs to be clean. Anyway, after that, I just put a little bit of grease. Uh, I will I put some grease just in this movement where the pin is gonna go 
rubbing all the time not too much but just enough just you know I don't like to put metal against metal without any lubrification is really important I don't want any of these bad things to happen by the way I nearly lost also this one this one is another little important little thingy I'm not gonna shave today because this one is another little trick you can do you can shave like two mil on this little plastic ring and uh, it does some kind of magic and uh, this one goes back in as it was before I'm just gonna try like this without playing with anything else and see if there is any improvements, any kind of improvements, performance, power. I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna make sure this will go back in place properly. So this gully it should go this way because the pin, the other pin inside the pump is pushing this way. So where are you, Alan? Bloody hell, okay. This one is gonna go back in there. I just wanna put it perfectly spot on, just, just to be sure. So, yeah, my GoPro died. In between that time of change, me changing the battery, let's just, just pump it a little bit more. So, I'm gonna shave this one. So, I'm gonna twist also the crown, and I'm gonna twist the other thingy, and I'm gonna just give a little bit more diesel. We'll see what's what kind of damage are we gonna do? I need to find a marker. Just give me a sec. And uh, now we're gonna do some damage. No, I'm joking. Why I don't like to have reliable vehicles? Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go around with this. That's not really precise at all. Okay, folks. Can you see it? This is what we're gonna take off. And it's gonna help me to gain boost. Should have my little thingy around here somewhere. Yes, I do. No, I don't have it, so it's everything by hand. Ah, also remember to like and subscribe because otherwise this kind of stuff they're not gonna happen just like and subscribe just do it now oh also it's good to shave your fingers play with my playstation okay as you see can't really focus but all of the black line the little black line it was before it's gone so that means we achieve our mission okay gonna clean the edges and then we're good mate we good so we can carry on with the rest so in the video I've seen they said to shave this one to rotate that one three times of 45 degrees nearly nearly a full turn this is clean there's a whistle I'm going to mark one tooth Show you. I'm gonna mark as you see one of the tooth because I know where am I go where I'm, where I'm going. If everything goes per shape, I can just put it back. So what they say is just to turn it uh, under 80. Okay, as you see the mark is on the opposite side, and now the mark is gonna go over here. Okay, so literally three quarter of a turn and this one is gonna help don't ask me the technical because i don't know i just follow instructions but i'm just gonna help with the resistance with this spring because you're gonna lower it down so it's gonna be <clears throat> less resistant so the boost it comes in faster so we're gonna put it and you forgot you forgot the the ring put it back put it like that Okay. And then we go this way. And this one is done. A little bit nervous. Nervous! It's not a crazy modification. We shaved that little thingy because the gap in between 
the lead and the bottom, reducing that, there is less um, force for the spring. So that's all I can tell you, to be honest. And uh, we're gonna put it back for screws, and we're gonna do the other little <coughs> mod. So now I need to take him off this one. The other thing to do is to move this one 180 degrees, 360, yeah, 360. I remember 360. So we can try to do that. I'm a little bit, <coughs> little bit nervous to do this because this is like <coughs> the second last uh, adjustment I can do on this pump. I need to turn this little thingy, the center one, 180 degrees. But I need to release that bolt before. Uh, loose now, loose, it's loose and I'm gonna turn this out and I'm gonna use one of this, this special bloody thingy to turn 180 degrees okay this one again what I can use, I can use this one okay. this one, 180 degrees okay here, no sorry, 360 that's what they say to do thank god I mark it because these guys are doing the job just need to turn a little bit more, and that's it. Okay, under uh, 360, and we're gonna lock it again. Don't move, just stay there. Get it. There you go. Stay in position. Perfect. Put it back this one, even if I smash it. Make sure you smash it. Put it back. Just in case. That one is done. The other one to do is the crazy one. The other one to do is the crazy one. Is this one? The other one to do is. Oh my God! It's so difficult. The other one to do is this one. This one right here. To take him off this pin this ring and turn this one 180 degrees no more i just think i'm gonna do just less than 180 to be honest because it's crazy okay guys we did the full the full treatment for have more horsepower more more torque more power more everything i wasn't sure if i wanted to do all of that but i did it because who doesn't like to have more power? The, the first thing I noticed, I blow some, some black smoke now. Just, just have a look. That is uh, <laughs> quite a bit of a black smoke. Increase the diesel. Yes, I did. Let's go to do a performance test, test drive, whatever you want to call it. By the way, the first thing I've seen, I got the, the, the boost gate. Bro, that thing is ranking up without any issue. I'm literally shocked because this kind of performance on this thing, like it's crazy. Okay, it's not, it's not a Ferrari, okay? But for me right now, it looks like a Ferrari. It just run up to the hill, it just run this thing like crazy i need literally to slow down the first time in my life with bam bam because this thing runs right now i'm gonna show you the boost gauge because i'm not talking you know this is the boost gauge and now you're gonna see how fast this thing goes up this is insane it's a lot i don't know if i should keep it like this it goes up so much i'm gonna blow an egg gasket or something in this kind of condition it's not even a pull down i mean i just had to put the pull down on this thing right now not because it's fast but because how much boost how much power going through this 
tangent right now. I don't know if I, I should have all of this kind of book. And listen. Woo! Just crazy. Look at this thing. This is literally mental. I don't know how much diesel I'm gonna use with this upgrade. But this is amazing guys. Well, that was an experience. I think I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, that, that diesel pump, because, man, now this thing is flying. Yeah, I'm really satisfied on the, on the end result, but I'm a little bit, little bit worried about the, how much boost I gained and uh, how much diesel I'm gonna use. I'm gonna, yeah, turn it down that little bit and uh, should be fine. For today, I'll say is everything. Uh, we made big progress with Ben Ben. So happy days, beautiful days. I'll see you next time, guys. And remember to like and subscribe.